Hey guys, Justin here of Yugatech, and as more people work and study at home, tablets are slowly getting more attention than they used to just a year ago. They're obviously bigger than a phone, yet more affordable than laptops, so it's definitely something to consider especially when you're on a tight budget. Now here's a new budget-friendly tablet from Huawei, the MatePad T10s, and let's see if this is the tablet for you. Starting with design, the MatePad T10s looks a lot like the MatePad T8. It comes in the same color too which is deep sea blue. It looks sleek and professional and it feels light to hold for a tablet. It's got a metal body with a matte finish on it and if you look a little closer, you'll notice that the vertically aligned thin bar near the rear camera is made out of polycarbonate material. Other than that, you can find some Huawei and Harman Kardon branding here. Located on the right are its power and volume buttons, as well as two microphones. There's nothing on the left, but on top you'll find a loudspeaker. Moving over to the bottom part, there's another loudspeaker together with its USB Type-C port, headphone port, and a dual SIM tray for one nano SIM card and a micro SD card that's expandable up to 512 gigabytes. We get some thick bezels all around that we've seen in most of Huawei's tablets. And in landscape mode, you can spot the two megapixel front camera together with the LED notification and some sensors at the top bezel. Overall, the MatePad D10s is light and has a straightforward design. It can be quite a smudge magnet, so we highly advise slapping a case on. Focusing on display, up front is a decent 10.1-inch IPS screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels and a pixel density of 224 pixels per inch. The quality doesn't really stand out, but it's good enough for watching videos, browsing the web, scrolling through social media, as well as reading ebooks. You can take advantage of the ebook mode that filters a blue light to reduce eye strain. The brightness levels indoors are good, but you really have to toggle to max brightness if you're going to use it under direct sunlight. If you're into watching movies and playing games, you'd be happy with the MatePad T10s's audio quality. With support from Harman Kardon, sound produced on this one is above average. Considering its price, I wouldn't really ask for more. It's loud, clear, noticeably rich, and fuller compared to smartphones. Moving on to software, the MatePad T10s runs on Android 10 skinned with Huawei's EMUI 10.1. And as expected, it doesn't have Google Mobile Services. Instead, it relies on Huawei Mobile Services with their own app marketplace called App Gallery. So the App Gallery has grown its catalog at a rapid pace and already has most of the popular apps. If the app is not available, we can go to a reliable third-party app store like APK Pure or APK Mirror and there's no problem there, but it does require extra work. If you use a lot of Google apps, it can be extra challenging to sideload specific apps such as YouTube and Gmail without having the Play Store fully installed and running. Although if you don't mind, you can always use the browser for it and create shortcuts to your home screen. The MatePad T10s features Huawei Share which is pretty handy if you already own a Huawei smartphone. Since you have a big screen, you can also take advantage of the multi-window feature for better multitasking. There's also the Huawei app multiplier to allow spontaneous operation of the same app. Other notable features are Tablet Clone, Kids Corner, and there's also an FM radio available. When it comes to note-taking features, the MatePad T10s has the Notepad and Calculator. There are other note-taking apps available in the app gallery, so you don't really have to restrict yourself with these two. When it comes to storage, we have 64GB with 46GB of usable space. If you need extra space to store your videos, photos, and music, there's a dedicated micro SD card slot for up to 512GB. Pre-installed apps are kept to a minimum and you can always uninstall them if you're not planning on using them. As for internals, the MatePad T10s packs a Kirin 710A chipset paired with a Mali G51 GPU and 3GB of RAM. Performance is deliverable. You get a smooth experience as long as you don't keep too many apps running in the background. It's also capable of gaming but expect a laggy gameplay when using heavy titles such as Asphalt 9 and Mobile Legends. For some numbers, here are the benchmark scores we got. Quickly on security, you can unlock the device with a pin, pattern, or password. Yep, there's no face unlock or fingerprint scanner here. 
When it comes to connectivity, the Mate Pad T10s has the basic phone features such as LTE connectivity, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, and OTG. Battery-wise, it packs a 5100mAh capacity with 10 watts charging. If you're a heavy user, you'll most likely charge the device twice a day. But if you'll use it for casual, limited use, then it can last you a whole day. We ran it through PC Mark's battery test and got a total score of 9 hours and 52 minutes. Meanwhile, in our standard video loop test, which which involves playing a 1080p video on loop in airplane mode at 50% brightness and volume with earphones plugged in, we got a decent 10 hours and 30 minutes of playback. Okay, let's talk about the cameras. We get a 5 megapixel at the back and a 2 megapixel up front. Of course, don't expect too much from these lenses as tablets today aren't really built for photography. But nonetheless, the quality on this one isn't that bad. The rear camera produces decent sharpness with not so vibrant colors. The same can be said with the front camera, but it's good enough for video calls. It also comes with a beauty mode in case you really want to take selfies for social media upload. And as for video quality, the front camera has a 720p resolution while the rear shooter allows you to shoot up to 1080p. So there's really not much fuss in the camera department. But generally, its camera should suffice for your zoom calls or quick snapshots. Alright, finally, we're down to price. Locally, the Huawei MatePad T10s is available for 12,999 pesos. And honestly, we think it's a pretty good deal. It's not the best out there, but you get what you pay for. And maybe even more with the ample storage and high-quality audio. Then again, there's the no Google services issue, and that's probably where most of your decision-making goes. Well, if you're up for the slight hassle of sideloading apps or relying with browser versions, then yes, go for it. But if you're not and you highly use Google Apps most of the time, then you might want to look elsewhere. And there you have it guys, we hope you found this review helpful. But before I end this video, I'd like to share that Huawei has just launched its official e-commerce platform, the Huawei Store. Here you can shop all authentic Huawei products without any worries as every transaction is safe. You can also pay any way you want. There's cash on delivery, credit cards, and e-wallets like Gcash, Alipay, or WeChat. So what are you waiting for? Don't forget to check out the Huawei Store to buy all your favorite Huawei devices and sign up now to redeem your 500 pesos voucher. Tell your friends and family as well, we'll put the link in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.